Hey there, y'all. So glad to see you. I'm Blake Matthews, KHOU 11 meteorologist. Are you ready to get weather smart? Well, today we're talking air pressure. Changes in atmospheric pressure have a huge impact on the weather. The higher the pressure, the nicer the days. The lower the pressure, the stormier. Pressure is measured with an instrument we call a barometer, and here's how to make your own. Let's go over the materials you'll need for this experiment. First off, you're going to need a glass jar and or paper cup. You're going to need a rubber band, a balloon, a pair of scissors, a straw, of some, a straw or a stir stick, piece of paper and or cardboard, a pencil, a glue stick, and some tape. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to remove the lid and then take your balloon and you're going to want to cut the balloon just below the neck. Sort of like so. Now this is probably the most important part of the experiment. You're going to want to place the cut balloon over the top of the jar, but you're going to want to make sure it is very, very tight and as flat as possible. Okay. And if you have a little bit of a, of a dimple there in the top, just pull down on the sides of the balloon until that dimple goes away. That's going to be very, very important because on such a small scale, we're going to need a very tight membrane to see the fluctuations in the air pressure. So give me just a minute to keep pulling this down. Okay. Now, to secure the membrane, take your rubber band, place it around the top like so, and that should hold the balloon pretty tight to the top of the jar. Now, we're done with the scissors. Take a piece of tape or your glue and your stir stick and or your straw, and this is where you're going to want to tape it to the top of the membrane. And you don't have to press very hard. Remember, we don't want to damage the membrane because that's a, an important part of the experiment. Now, on your piece of cardboard, you're going to want to stand it up and mark a spot exactly where the stick, right where the stick uh, is sticking out. That's going to be your standard pressure. Now I already drew one and you can make this as fancy as you want. You can color it in. Um, but this is mine and you can see it's right there pretty close to standard. And I drew a little bit above and a little bit below because this stick is going to move based on what the atmospheric pressure is doing. Remember the higher the pressure, the nicer the days, the lower the pressure, the stormier. Now air has pressure. And when the air is really pressing against the surface, we call that high pressure, well that's going to push against the membrane and that's going to cause the stick to move up. So the higher that pressure, the nicer the weather is outside. Now, when the pressure decreases, there's not as much pressure pushing down on the membrane and that's going to cause our stick to go lower. And the lower the pressure, the stormier it is. That's why we measure pressure in hurricanes because the lower that pressure goes we know the stronger that hurricane is likely to be. So this is a very easy experiment that you can do something that you're going to have to monitor over the course of a couple of hours. Air pressure doesn't change very rapidly it changes over the course of several hours so set your experiment up leave it for three or four hours and go back and check it or better yet check it the next day and see exactly if your barometer matches up with the weather outside. All right, thanks for joining me. Check out our other experiments that you can do at home on our KHOU 11 YouTube channel. Download the KHOU 11 app by scanning the code. Send your weather photos by texting 713-526-1111. And remember, KHOU 11, we're keeping you weather smart.